Today I wanted to show you how to use quizzes on the free basic plan. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have the search option up here. So if I want to find something someone else made, I can type in my topic and it will search for the pre-made ones. So if it finds one that someone already made that I like, I can check out the questions over here. Say, okay, I like this one. So I have two options really. I can edit it, which is gonna force me to make a copy. I can go ahead and play it live so if your students are in, sitting in front of you, or you can assign it as homework, um, and the students will be able to do it later with the due date. So if I click edit, it's giving me my own copy. So now that I have my own copy, I can look at it and say, hmm, I don't think my students really understand this part because it has an X instead of parentheses or I taught multiplication different. So you could just click delete and the question would be gone. You can also add your own questions. You can change the amount of time the students have on the questions. Um, the time is a big thing, I think, if you have um, students that need longer or you have students that require um, additional time because of an IEP, you can always give them extra time here. So once I'm done with all my changes, um, I'm going to give this to my students. Okay, so if I wanted to add a new question, I would click add new question, but I'm done with all my changes, so I'm going to click done. And then I have the same two options again. So I can play it live or I can assign it as homework. So if I click assign as homework, here's my options. I can give due dates and click continue. You will notice that you are limited in how far out you go. So because I am on a free account, I can only go out to the 26th. If I was on a paid account, I would get extra days. So if I wanted to create my own, I could either create a quiz or a lesson. I'm on a free account, so I can only create a quiz. I'm going to title it, pick your subject, so then we can pick what type we want. I typically use multiple choice, and then I'm going to type in my question. And you'll notice on the side, it's showing up like it's going to show up if your students are playing on a phone. So I'll put in my answers. And then click Save. Oh, sorry, you have to pick your right question too. And then pick Save. Um, the nice part is, as you saw, it gives me the option, let me go back to the question, it gives me the option to add an image, or if I'm typing a math equation, I have that option as well. So once I have mine made the way I want it made, click Save, I'll add all the questions I want to add, and I will click Done. Because it is currently labeled Public, others can search my quizzes just like I was able to search someone else's, and I can add my grade levels to it, and I can update it so that I have more points on there, but this is how you can use quizzes in your classroom.